from the Beck Enterprises here, and today I'm going to cook something I've never cooked before. It's Hamburger Helper, and this is actually the Southwest pasta style with beans and corn and all that good stuff. So I could cook it like the box tells me to, or I could do it my way. So I'm going to show you how to do it my way. So things you're going to need are first off some kind of skillet or pot or something like this, uh, preferably with the lid. It's not totally necessary, but it could get messy. You're also going to want to get some oil. So the box doesn't tell you to do this, but um, it's almond and canola. I'm not sure which one I want to use yet. But you'll need a tablespoon of oil, which is this much. It actually says one tablespoon right there. So if you look at the back of the box, it says you need one pound of ground beef, which I have like three pounds in the fridge. Um, two cups of hot water. So for that, uh, this is a cup right here, this line. So I'm going to fill this to there. Dump it, fill it, dump it, and then microwave this to get the hot water instead of boiling boiling water. Um, a cup of milk. So I also have a half gallon of milk in there. So I'm good with that. So for extra flavor and spices and stuff, I'm going to use the Tabasco spicy salt, just a little bit of this, and a couple dashes of cayenne pepper here. Boom, boom. These. To start off, I'm going to need something like this. I'm actually just going to take the lid off for now and put it on the side. And as you can see, this one here, after you light it, you have low to high, 1, 9, so basically 0 to 10. So, the first thing I'm going to do is put it at about a 6, add some oil, and we'll go from there. I'm waiting for the pan to heat up. I'm going to do one cup of water. Another cup of water. So after it starts getting warm, I'm just going to add the meat. So I have uh, 1.245 pounds of ground beef. I'm just going to go ahead for right now and just dump it in the pot. This here is just breaking it up and stirring it. So break and stir, break and stir for like six, eight minutes, something like that. Okay, so I'm going to turn the heat up to about a seven and a half. And I'm going to keep stirring. I mean, it all needs to be brown. You don't want to see any of this pink stuff. That's not good. I mean, it's still raw. So, so while that's cooking, I'm going to go ahead and pour myself a cup of milk. Here we go, one cup. Maybe a little bit over, but it's okay. So before I drain the beef, I'm going to actually put this on for a minute to heat up. So now to drain the beef, I'm going to put the lid on. I'm going to take this cup and put it here in the sink. And I'm going to go ahead and tote this. And we drain the grease like this. And then, very important, is to wipe the grease off the side of the uh, pot here. Because if you don't, it could start a grease fire. That's not good. So then I put the beef back on there. I'm going to add the two cups of hot water. I'm going to add the one cup of milk. And I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to turn it on to a three. Starting to heat up, I'm going to go ahead and add the ingredients from the hamburger helper box. Dump that in. And I'm going to add the mix. And I'm going to go ahead and just give it kind of a little, little spread here. Go ahead and mix it up a little bit.
And you let it simmer for about 14-15 minutes. And during that time you'll occasionally want to just stir it a little bit. So, And while it's simmering I'm just going to add a drop or two of this hot sauce. That's plenty. And that's the Naga Jalokia hot sauce. So after you put it in a bowl, put some sharp parmesan shredded cheese on there, and this is what you get. This is delicious. Nice and spicy, good flavor.